Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. I had to compose myself. All right, I have notes about this, and I'm just going to keep plugging along because I've started this video over twice, and I'm not going to do it again. Okay, so I need to set the background for this, you guys. Um, back in the early 2000s, I had a store in Michigan. I opened a gift basket store, and I wanted my very own logo. Um, so what I did was I made a picture of a hummingbird. I drew a picture of a hummingbird, like flying up at a gift basket with its beak in flowers that were in the gift basket, okay? And um, I had, you know, I had like a graphic artist or whatever make the big logo for my window of my store and on the door and then little tags with my logo and my store name that I could tie on the gift baskets. Okay, so I forgot about this. I have not thought about this in so many years, you guys, um, until yesterday. So I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, there's a video link I'm going to put in the bottom of, in the comments section of the video I watched last night. But this is, it was crazy confirmation for me. It's a personal confirmation. Um, I don't think, you know, it's not like a warning or anything, but I just want to share it because it's so exciting how God has been showing me this stuff. Okay, so I forgot about that. I have not thought about that hummingbird logo that I made for my store in forever. Okay, then a couple years ago, a uh, year or two ago, I started praying to the Lord. And I said, Lord, if there's anything that can hold me back from, you know, um, the rapture, if there's anything that I'm doing wrong, if I'm not ready, I said, please give me a confirmation. I said, give me hellfire and brimstone dreams if necessary, but please let me know. Well, I got actually got several beautiful, beautiful confirmations not confirmation, but comforting dreams that I believe were from the Lord that just, um, you know, just wonderful. But one of the first dreams I had that I believe was from the Lord after praying that is I had a dream that it was me and my father and my husband who, that's who lives here now. My dad lives out in his cabin on our property and it's me and my husband here. Well, in the stream, we were moving back into the home I grew up in. Actually, the home I lived in when I was born. I was born living in Warren, Michigan, and that's where my original house is. So it seemed like we were unpacking. And um, so a knock came to the side door. It was just like my old house. I went to the side door, opened the door, and there was a delivery person with a basket. And the basket had, like, plants and one of those really pretty, beautiful design uh, flower or flower plant arrangements in a basket. And this basket had a hummingbird in it. And um, I said I was ready to grab it, and I was very excited to see this basket because it was so beautiful. And... Um, as I went to reach to get it, the delivery person said, wait a minute, I'm not sure I'm at the ad correct address. I'm not sure this is for you. She's like, she or he, I don't remember who, I think it was a female. She said, give me a minute, let me go back and check. So she walks away with the gift basket to go to her vehicle and check, double check the address and make sure that it was for my house. And, um... She came back, and she said, yeah, this is yours, or it's for you. So I took the basket, and I was so excited. It was so beautiful, and the hummingbird was in it. But when I brought the basket in the house, I realized there were already two hummingbirds in the house um, flying around. So when the basket, when I brought the basket in, the third hummingbird from the basket um, flew out of the basket and started playing and flying around the house with the other two birds. Um, it was a very happy. Um, it was just really happy. And then I woke up. Okay. So, all right. So, um, you know, that was comforting to me. I felt like that was a dream from God um, showing me that, yes, 
we're going to be going home, we're going to be flying, I'm, you know, going to be in the rapture, and it was significant, it was my old home, my first home that I grew up in, so then, um, okay, so I haven't thought about my logo from my store in many years, then I got that dream, and even that dream did not trigger that memory for me about the logo from my store, okay, and come to think about it, I should look up the word logos. I can't remember what it means, but. All right. So then I had the dream, okay? Um, then later on, this was like, I don't remember what month it was, what month it was but my sister-in-law, and she's never, ever, ever done this before, you guys. My sister-in-law sends me a package in the mail. And so, and this isn't a dream. This is real. So I go out. Um, the mail lady beeps her horn, and I go out there, and she's got a package for me. And she said, she said, whoever sent this to you, tell them that they sent it to the wrong address. Um but they knew it was my package because, make a long story short, we were the first people to live here, okay? And when we first got issued an address, they gave us a different uh, house number and street name. And then they called us and said, that's not right. It's going to be, you know, this and this, so, which explains, see, my sister-in-law had the old incorrect address. Um... But the post office, we're a small town, so they knew it was for us. They know us. So I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'm thinking, what's it matter? I got the package. So I bring it in the house. I open it up. And um, she sent me, I got to go get the card. I, I might have to continue this because I'm not going to have enough time. So I'll uh, title this part one. So anyways... I open up the box. She knew I had been really, um, not depressed, but I'd really been going through a lot. So she decided to go out and buy me a bunch of stuff and bought me a card and um, send me a package. So I was like, oh, how sweet. You know, she sent me this package. Well, then, like, later on that day or the next day, I had put the basket aside or the box aside because... She had spring stuff in it, and it wasn't quite yet spring. So I'm thinking it was last year at this time, almost to spring. And um, something, okay, all of a sudden, I was told, Heather, go take a look, closer look at the box, okay? This all ties into what happened last night, so I'm going to tell you. So I start examining the basket, and it hits me. It all lined up exactly like my dream. The package, they had to double check that it was for me. Inside the box my sister-in-law sent me was a um, hummingbird, like it looked like crystal, only it's like that plastic that looks like crystal, uh, crystal looking um, solar light, hummingbird solar light for my garden. So after it was brought to my attention about ha the mail person having to check the address, I go and, you know, after a voice tells me to look in closer at the contents of the box, there's the hummingbird, and there were day li um, they were lilies, which immediately made me think lily of the valley, but the name of the lily was Commander-in-Chief. Um, what else was in the, and it's a plant, okay, so I had a plant, but they were just bulbs, but still, a plant, which were the commander-in-chief, and the hummingbird, um, what else does she put in the box, I'm trying to think, it's been a while now, oh my goodness, those were, and the card, which I'm going to show you in the next video, I'll have to go downstairs and get it, and it's still on my fridge, it's been up there for over a year, um, so, Oh, oh yeah, there was deep cleansing, um, like Bath and Body Works, deep cleanse, hand cleansing, foaming cleanser, and it had a wine glass, and it was uh, Black Cherry Merlot, 
Um, which may, and it said deep cleansing, and I'm like, that's funny, deep cleansing. And then there was some little bottle of scented hand sanitizer. Uh, what else did she send me? Um, I can't remember, but those were the significant things. I'm going to get the card for the next video just so you can see it. But anyways, the reason I'm telling you this was I believe that the box my sister-in-law sent me was a confirmation of the dream that God had given me prior to that. So last night, I see this guy's video, and he's talking about, um, oh my gosh, I don't want to butcher this video. There's so much I want to get it out. Okay, he doesn't do his regular style video. He's got pictures of birds, and it changes every couple minutes. Like, he had two pretty yellow birds that were, like, kissing and one. Then a couple minutes later, um, the, the picture would change, and there was actually birds chirping in the background. I don't know if that was um, his, you know, real sounds or if he had something with birds chirping in the background you know, playing in the background, but it was very relaxing. He was talking about basically how I was feeling yesterday when I was out overlooking the mountains and stuff and just I felt in my spirit like I was saying goodbye to this, you know, what's been home for so long. And, um, oh, here I go again. So anyways, you guys. So then, as soon as... Oh my gosh, I'm never going to finish this video. I'll have to come back. i got to answer this, you guys.